know. Yeah. So when you so all right, you're in the thirties and you was dating and you and you dating somebody, right? Did, how did you see the dating the dating scene change from the twenties from your twenties to your thirties? Did you think like, damn, okay. am I getting too old for this shit? Because I felt like I got my second push in my thirties, man. I'm enjoying my thirties very my much. My thirties is lit. I'm enjoying my 30s very much, but dating is different. Mm -hmm. I feel like men are not as mature mm -hmm. um, and not as established. Mm -hmm. Almost not, not saying that you have to be in a certain place, but... A lot more entrepreneurs now. Yeah, but at 30, it's like, okay, you need to have a stable place to live. Mm -hmm. You need to have a vehicle. You need to... You know, certain things you just need to have. Yeah. You need to have health insurance. You know, I mean, yeah. certain things, it's like you have to have and i just feel like a lot of men um are just lacking that yeah and women are having to kind of like settle which is something i was like i'm not gonna do that because i can just be out here hustling getting to it yeah. and focus on what i need to focus on and then when it comes but it, you're a different breed comes. though yeah because you didn't come out here and have a baby when you was like 18 oh, no, 19 no, no, 20 no, no, 20, no, 20 something no, years old no. like you waited and like you getting your shit together first yeah, definitely you know what i'm saying but i think like well, my issue with dating in my thirties was that that same issue, except for on a woman's side, because it's a lot of broke women out here. It's a lot of successful ones, but the successful ones always settle. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The successful I ones was always settling. I, like all my homegirls that are successful was always dating bums. I can see that. You know what I'm saying? They I was always that. dating bums. They're like, it's no good men out here. The niggas is it's not, not established. No, it's, it's not, but that goes back to settling. Yeah. It's just not, what they say, is, it's piss in the dating pool. Yeah. But you it's know, always I, like, when, you, when you're somewhere, like at this age now, it feel good to know what I want and right. know what I'm looking for. Right. But all before, I was just a young nigga with money. You right. know what I'm saying? So it was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was like, I was dating women who wasn't who were, on my same yeah, level, yeah. didn't have the same outlook on right, anything as me. Right. They was just like, I'm here now. Right, right, You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So then when they get in their 30s. That was for fun. Yeah, that when, but fun. when they get in their 30s, they like, oh, well, the young, these men not established and stuff like that. And then it's like, well, bitch, I was here right. in, your, in your 20s. Right. <laughs> I was here when you were trying to get to where you at now. Yeah. But you I, let me go. I think it's important to focus on your own self. Yeah. Like, Females want a man with so much money, this, that, and the third, but you don't have no job. That's not realistic. Are you, you going 50-50 on it? 50-50 on what? <laughs> Listen, stop. I mean, 50-50 on what? On, if, if let's say you dating a man and y'all go 50-50 on everything. So you're my roommate. But all right, so when it comes down to the 50-50, right? <laughs> That's a roommate. That's what roommates do. They go have... <laughs> On, on everything. On everything. But what if y'all only go half on like the bills, but everything else is not like extracurricular things is not 50 50. Like it, the maintaining the household is 50 50. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Yeah. It's just, I would rather do my own thing uh -huh. and you do your own thing so, than do that. So you would, so you want to, you don't want to pay no bills? I don't mind contributing to the household, but I'm, if we're at this age where I'm, at now, uh -huh. if we're in the same household, you need to be taking care of the mortgage, taking care of the like the 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 bottom line. Yes, that's the main. I thing. will contribute, of course, to the household. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. I will definitely contribute, but as the man, I feel like you need to be taking care of the mortgage. Yeah, that's bottom line. And me personally, I, mean, I like me personally, I dated a girl one time. That's crazy. my baby mother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put that out there, my first one. <laughs> And my second one. This happened with my first and second one. You Maybe know what I'm saying? True. Nah, because rest in peace with my second one. She was a real one. You know what I'm saying? But I've got kicked out. And I told myself, never the nah, fuck again yeah. would I get fucking kicked out. Yeah. And I hate I, I had to just accept the fact that if I'm in a relationship and we're living together, it's not me living with you. Is you living with me? And even if your name is on some lease or something, I'm I'm going to be able to show that I hold my own, and yeah. I'm not getting kicked out of shit. Then your name should be on it. I got so much pride that if let's say we beefing, I ain't sleeping on no motherfucking couch because I've been oh, kicked yeah. out before. Yeah, and I'm I'm sleeping in this fucking bed. <laughs> <laughs> this That's is fair. the bed yeah. I'm sleeping in. I yeah. paid the fucking bills. Honestly, yeah. I haven't had a woman pay a bill for me ever in my life. 
Not my mama, not my auntie, my grandma, nobody has ever, nobody, not man or woman, has ever paid a bill for me. If that, if I didn't pay that bill, and that bitch just, just getting to get paid. Yeah. But I always made sure that men stop being couch warriors. Stop living on these women. Couches, stop for moving. Sure. Stop moving be in. Yeah, stop. You're a man. Yeah. Stop yeah. moving. Like, I hate when a nigga be like, yeah, bro, I'm about to move in her junk yeah. and stack up my money. You're a fucking loser. <laughs> stop moving yeah. in with these yeah. women. I agree. And then thinking that you're going to pay half of your bills, half the bills, or pay to all the bills. Right. If your name on it, not on that lease, don't live there. Yeah. Don't do it because guess what? When the police come, you gotta They're go. not hearing I you pay the bills. <laughs> you're getting your bitch yeah. ass arrested, you gotta, all right? Yeah. In Richmond, go. if the police get called, you're getting arrested. Yeah. That's just what it is. Yeah. So you don't should, do that. You should be able to take care of yourself. Exactly. And I'm Period. just don't get kicked out, nigga. Yeah, don't That's get kicked out. That's embarrassing. Because you're not coming back. You're 30 something years old <laughs> and you're getting kicked out. You're over here with your bags and shit. You got your shit like one of them little hobo sticks with your little bag in the back. She kicked me out. Yeah. I look at a nigga like I look I look at a nigga like a peon yeah. when he tell me she kicked me out. That's funny you said that. My word. baby mama kicked me out. What? Yeah. Nah, bro. Like i I'm not that type of nigga. Yeah. I've been there and I've and done we're not that. 20. Yeah, like we're not twenty. Like this shit happened anymore. to me in my early twenties. Yeah, that's so different. So from twenty five on t- to now, I have not. That's different. Been in a woman's sure. apartment with my bags. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Yeah. You should never move into but a woman's home. But men do that all the time. You know, I they know. say that's like the best. You know, I know. I <laughs> homeless. know. Homeless. Yeah. What was it called? Homo. Homeless sex. Homeless sexual. And niggas be homeless oh, sexuals. My gosh. But that's nah, funny. man. Like, I feel you in the fifty fifty thing. I'm a hundred percent with like. The baseline, but I'm a type of nigga. If I pay for all the bills and everything, I'm not, I'm not cleaning and I'm not doing too much cleaning around this house. You feel me? You can't clean up after yourself. I clean up. I'm a clean person, regardless on my own. I'm not gonna leave my shitty drawers on the floor or nothing like that. Your drawers, but shitty? if no, nah, I'm just saying. But you know what I'm saying? Like you know how <laughs> shout out to that DJ in Richmond who out here with the shitty drawers. But nah, but you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like I if do. a nigga. If I go, if I'm paying all the bills and shit, I'm going to do what's not nasty. You know what I'm saying? Right. But let's say, like, the dishes need to be clean. I don't feel like doing them. Mm. Well, I'm not going to do the motherfucking dish. I'm not they're gonna, they're just going to sit there. I'm not I, doing the dishes. I'm sorry. I go to Sam's Club and buy all a big stack of all paper products. I feel that, too. Yeah, that's, that's what see, I do. <laughs> well, see, look. See, well, look, look. Let's say, let's say, let's say, like, that's what you do. That is what I do. That. That's a problem solved. Right. Now you ain't got to worry about that shit. Yep. I just know that them dishes in that goddamn in They're that not going to be done by you. They're not going to be done by me, man. I'm sorry. I paid the fucking... In Richmond, where I live at, the the water bill and the trash bill, all that shit, and the gas bill, all that shit come in the mail. I, I pay all that. I don't... Okay. When I say the women in my life don't pay for shit, the food that is being cooked, I provide. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you're 100%, <laughs> 100% the provider, 100% provider, then that is understandable but my 50 50 is that but okay you cook you clean i provide i think my issue is that it's like i'm not i'm not your housewife you know what i mean like i, I, feel I that. you know what i want i want a partner you we know can what be mean? like i don't want to be like your housewife i feel that you know what i mean but That's if just, even if we go out let's say like like having to cook isn't a fucking thing that you have to do every day. Right, like, right, right. It's not something that I'm coming home. Where's my dinner? Like, right. let's say like, uh, like the girl I'm dating, the girl I'm with now, she <laughs> might go three weeks without fucking. And she can cook. She loves to cook. So that's why my that's why my shit okay. a little bit different. Okay. The girl I'm with, she loves to cook. Okay, that's beautiful. You know beautiful. what I'm saying? But let's say she don't want to cook for a couple of weeks. I'm not pressuring her to cook. Motherfucker, we gonna go out and eat. Right. And I'm still paying for all that shit. I mean, I don't mind doing stuff like that. <laughs> I'll pay for dates sometimes. Like I don't mind doing that. Yeah, but she don't have to. Like she know. Like she'll get that feeling like. Damn, it's, it's this time, nigga, it's this time. nigga been fucking it's taking time. me to Roof Chris. <laughs> yeah, I gotta so, do something. So this nigga I gotta out do here. Something. I gotta do something. But she knows that. That's not what you're here for. Like, you're here like, to, to cook yeah. Your brain. Because she does other <laughs> things like take care of the kids. Like, it's certain things. If I'm doing all of this and the, I'm not even asking you to do nothing. Okay. If you choose to do it, you do it. Okay. But that's my 50-50 though. And when I need you, you're there. Right. But you just gotta do what works for you. Yeah. I guess. Everybody's situation is different. But you, but got you want a nigga that's going goddamn, 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 goddamn. Like, nigga, I mean, what? <laughs> you I want just, the Gucci? You want the Gucci gifts? 
Um, he bought that. <laughs> nah, he, he bought that. Nah, 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 nah. Um, you, you, I told you, looking real Mary J. Blige's. <laughs> you looking like you ready to hit the. You so crazy. Um, oh, I really want. That's all I want. <laughs> um, I mean, it just like I said, every situation is different. Like I'm not no like bougie, sadity person. Mm-hmm. I can be understanding, nah, and I can also it. help you get into if you have a real plan and you really know what you want to do. And you know, I can assist you. Yeah. But at the same time, I am. A little over thirty, yeah, and I'm just kind of past that point in my life. You're I don't want to travel the world. Yeah, like you don't, I don't, have, you don't have to yes, buy two tickets. Yes, I want to enjoy the fruits of my labor. I want to, you know, I don't want to, yeah, to do that. We can build a partnership together. Yeah, but nah, I just, fuck you that. know, that nigga gotta be. He gotta be you on know, point. I'm not trying man. to pick you up from work. You know, yeah, not, like you want to go to Jamaica. He gotta yeah. be like, well, I gotta wait till I get paid next yeah, month. Yeah, like you know, that's just not. <laughs> I don't got it right now. It is nothing necessarily wrong. It is, though. No, I'm just joking. It's not. It's not anything wrong with the, you know, that kind of man because people have different responsibilities. Yeah, that's true. Life is, you know, challenging for a lot of people, but that's just not where I'm at in my life. So I I need somebody to match where I'm at in my life. And then you can go find somebody to match where you are at in your life, but that's not where I'm at. Yeah. And I feel like you're pretty easy, the person. I think so. I know you for a good little minute now. Yeah. I know you from the blog too. Like, yeah. you know, and you know how to throw hands. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I don't. I do. I don't. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about nobody playing with you and none of that <laughs> no, other shit, I don't. man. Stuff you are crazy. <laughs> yeah.